special delivery. The delivery of that which is uncommon, exceptional in character, different from others. Special delivery. Army Air Force's style is designed for a particular function, but unlike other highly specialized functions, is not limited in range, aims, or purposes. During times of war, air power is war power, as destructive as is necessary to destroy the enemy, but AAF planes, large and small, have more than destructive power. They have constructive power greatly beneficial to the nation. Thus, in times of peace, air power is peace power. During war, instantaneous delivery was a daily function. Rear penetrations delivered at a moment's notice to assist pushing, back-breaking assaults of the ground forces sometimes meant the difference between victory and defeat. But AAF special delivery is not confined to war. Disrupted communications broken by the ravages of nature are immediately replaced, no matter how difficult the terrain. This same airplane was called upon to assist the late General Patton maintain the astounding speed of his history-making drive through Europe. Yet at the same time, in other parts of the world, the C-47 airplane was dropping food and medical supplies to men marooned in impenetrable regions. The size of the aircraft helped, not hindered the different calls for delivery. A small aircraft could use landing areas impossible for use by larger aircraft. One of the great accomplishments of the little cub was the ferrying of wounded from isolated outposts. flying over jungle or water. The long-range hospital planes that gave medical attention as well as transportation to suffering men. Airline routes for peacetime were pioneered by the famed Air Transport Command's War Special Delivery. The formidable flying fortress that brought fear to the hearts of the enemy carried serum over the great ice expanse of Alaska. Helicopters, never used as combat planes, penetrated areas where even the small cub could not enter and made on-the-spot landings to deliver everything from secret pouches to babies. The Tokyo famed B-25 Mitchell, one of the outstanding planes of the war, is now fighting for health. Instead of bombs, the B-25 now sprays DDT over large areas in a very short space of time and on a moment's notice. Epidemics can now be prevented or stopped suddenly. These gliders help to bring the free peace we now enjoy. In the peaceful future, they again will be working for you in various ways, detaching freight gliders along a regular route, just as freight trains now drop off cars at way stations. Your Air Force is continually developing new and more astonishing aircraft. The XF-12, a new photo reconnaissance ship. The XP-84, a new fighter craft with speed and punch. The small flying wing and the giant XB-35. The C-74, one of the world's largest the AAF dreams of today will be the aircraft of tomorrow. The B-29, one of the most favored of our Sky Armada, spread long-range death and destruction on the Japanese enemy and proved the vulnerability of their home islands to air attack. History was made at Hiroshima and Nagasaki when the B-29 dropped the first atom bombs. After the Japs were brought to their knees by this stupendous attack, the B-29 continued its history-making career by flying non-stop from Tokyo to Washington, D.C., accomplishing one of aviation's great feats. Special delivery of America's historic achievements was the destiny of the B-29.
for the Army Air Forces next committed the giant B-29 Armada to science. Never before had such a mighty target been assembled beneath a bomb site. 73 ships in a five-mile area. It was a bombardier's dream target. <laughs> 